Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk a little bit about sunscreen. I'm going to talk about a few myths associated with sunscreen, when you need to use it, why you need to use it and I'm also going to tell you my experience with this Suncro Soft sunscreen. A lot of you may not have heard of Suncro sunscreen. Even though it's not a new sunscreen, that's because for the last decade or so it has been available in India but it's been recommended only by dermatologists and it was usually available in chemists based on a prescription. So if you've ever visited a dermatologist with any skin issues, there's a very good chance that you would know about this sunscreen, but it was not widely available. However, they recently sort of, you could say, relaunched a sunscreen. And now while it's still recommended by dermatologists, it's going to be easily available over the counter and just more widely available. Suncross sunscreen is made by Sun Pharmaceuticals. It's a very, very well-known pharmaceutical brand, very big. So I'm sure you would have heard of them. As I mentioned, this sunscreen has the distinction in India of being the number one dermatologist recommended sunscreen. So when I attended the relaunch event of this, about a fortnight ago, there was a panel of dermatologists there, the best dermatologists in the country to be specific. And they did talk a lot about sunscreen and they actually busted quite a few myths. Like for example, I am a beauty blogger and even I didn't know some of these. So it was nice to learn from experts. For example, one thing that the dermatologist said was that as Indians, most of us don't really need to worry about the SPF that much because SPF is like the first thing I look at and most of us look at when we are looking to buy a sunscreen or looking to see if one would be suitable but SPF was formulated like more with white skin in mind and when I say white skin I don't mean like just a fair person I mean the Caucasian race so their skin is really different they don't tan like us very easily most of the time they rather burn and so SPF relates more to that type of skin. We have melanin which works sort of like a filter and we don't burn. But something that we need to look for in any sunscreen is that we need to make sure that it has broad spectrum protection, UVA and UVB. So always look for that. Don't just look for the SPF number, but check out the packaging of the sunscreen and see if it says that it has UVA and UVB protection. Sunscreen is something that we just need to be very vigilant about, we need to be very regular about at all ages, right from the age of like six months. I know it sounds like a lot, but sun can be really damaging. So you need to protect your skin. So you need to protect your skin if you're a baby, if you're middle-aged, if you're older, you just need to take care of it because there are, can be quite a lot of dangers associated with exposing your skin to the sun all the time uh, without wearing sunscreen. Even if you don't have a really complex beauty routine or you don't use any like fancy products or serums or anything, the basic part of your skincare routine every single day should be that you keep it very clean and you know wash it with a good face wash to remove any impurities, especially after you go out and you're exposed to dirt and grime and pollution. Secondly, you need to moisturize it well because hydration is also really important irrespective of your skin type whether you have normal dry or oily either way you do need to moisturize it very regularly and be particular with that and then the third most important thing or maybe first all of these three points are equally important actually is that you need to be regular with sunscreen another thing is that most of the time sunscreen gets talked about like only in the summer time but uv rays are present all the time all the year round it's not something only associated with summer like right now i'm filming and it's a pretty cloudy day if you can see it looks a little bit gray and at the same time uv rays are still penetrating so you need to be careful and you need to put sunscreen on irrespective of whether it looks like a sunny day or it doesn't and you also need to put sunscreen on uh, whether you're just sitting in your home or you know whether you're just traveling somewhere by car because you're exposed to sun and UV rays all of those times even if you don't think you are. So Suncross sunscreen is available in three variants. All three of them offer broad spectrum protection. So there's Suncross Aqua Lotion and it's with SPF 50 and it's specially made for sensitive skin. There's also Suncross Aqua Gel which has SPF 26 and it's especially for oily skin. And here what I have and I'm going to talk about more today is the Suncross Soft Sunscreen. It has SPF 50 and a very matte finish. 
So a few other like features of this sunscreen other than being the number one dermatologist recommended sunscreen and as I just mentioned it has a matte finish. It also has SPF 50, PA++++ protection, it's chemical agent free and it's suitable for all ages above the age of 6 months. Also has a water resistant formula and 8 hour protection. When they say water resistant formula, I don't think it means that uh, you can like swim in it or something but it's still a really useful feature because if you sweat a lot during the day or you know in the monsoon like now it's going to start raining really soon in Mumbai a lot if you get slightly wet it's not just going to easily rub off and the fact that it has 8 hour protection means that you can put it on once and you don't need to worry so much about like reapplying it later on in the day. So the Suncross soft sunscreen is much more widely available now and the one that I have the tube is 50 grams and it retails for rupees 545. The directions say to apply liberally on the face, neck and exposed area of the skin at least 15 minutes before sun exposure and apply it every day. So I've had this sunscreen for I think about a fortnight and I think I have used it almost every single day save for one day when I was feeling lazy but otherwise I've been using this daily. The texture of the sunscreen really impressed me from the very first time I used it because I've had experience with sunscreens that are supposed to be really good but just feel really bad and they make your skin look very very white and they cause you to sweat more and they're thick and goopy and I've been guilty in the past of skipping sunscreen for that reason because you know if I put makeup on it just looks weird and my makeup also melts off fast but this is really nice because it says that it has a matte finish it's got a very soft a very light like sort of a whipped mousse like texture very silicone -y. perfect for like if you have oily skin like me because it's not going to make you sweat more it's not going to make you look greasy it's very smooth and settles to a complete matte and the fact that it has this sort of silicone texture means it can like double up as a primer not only does it look quite nice even if you're not wearing makeup if you don't wear makeup daily or you're not wearing makeup on that day but if you choose to put any makeup on top of it it's just going to help that makeup stay better on your face and I would definitely say that it even lives up to its claims like even many hours into the day even if I've had a hectic day where I've been outside a lot in the hot sun it does not make my face look greasy or oily which is a huge boon because trust me I have really oily skin I'm not exaggerating so when I'm putting this on in the morning I'll just put on the sunscreen first and it does look very very slightly white right in the beginning but just as I wait for a few minutes it settles into a very nice matte finish and it just matches my skin tone it looks very natural and doesn't look like I'm wearing any heavy product on my face that's pretty much all I have to say for the sunscreen there isn't anything more but yeah I've really been impressed with this because it provides me with all the protection that I need and at the same time it's just like it fits into my lifestyle nicely provides 8 hours protection and actively stops me from getting oily so it gets two big thumbs ups from me. If you have any questions about this sunscreen or just sun care in general, I'm not a dermatologist but still feel free to leave a comment in the comment box down below and I will get back to you. I've also written a blog post on this so you might want to check that out. If you have any questions I might have already answered it there. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.